Hello and welcome to this video covering Cisco Secure Dynamic Attributes Connector in Cisco Secure Firewall Release 7.1. I'm Christopher Grabowski with Cisco Systems. Before I discuss the details of the Cisco Dynamic Attributes Connector, I would like to tell you about the challenges we see our customers having with managing their firewalls. While the traditional approach to the firewall policy was manageable with campus networks and physical data centers, it cannot sustain the rapid expansion of the network to the public cloud, as well as the increased use of cloud applications. As you deploy services to Azure or AWS public clouds, the asset count and the complexity of the security policy grows rapidly. With the hybrid cloud approach, you are super flexible Cloud applications like Office 365 induce productivity, and you don't have to worry about the underlying infrastructure or the software. Now here is the challenge. The hybrid network is on one hand extremely dynamic and adaptive, as you can scale your services up and down or shift them between regions. But at the same time, it becomes really hard to keep your network secure. With all the security threats out there, you need to keep your policy even more tight than before and you won't have an army of people to do it for you. To protect your services in such a dynamic and diverse environment, the firewall rules always have to reflect the current state of the network. If there is any change, the policy has to adapt in real time, and ideally with no need for manual intervention. And this is where the FTD and the Cisco Dynamic Attributes Connector tandem comes into play, equipping you with a dynamic attribute-based policy. The Cisco Dynamic Attributes Connector, or CSDAC, is an FMC feature that tracks the state of the servers hosted in public or private clouds. It allows you to create dynamic objects that reflect changes detected in the monitored clouds. You can use these dynamic objects in your FTD firewall policies, and guess what? They will get updated automatically in real time without policy deployment. The changes will propagate automatically to all firewalls in your setup. Cisco Secure Dynamic Attributes Connector makes your policy dynamic, more secure, and much easier to manage. The CSDAC works hand-in-hand -hand with the FMC to provide the current state of resources hosted in different cloud providers. First, it subscribes to a provider and downloads the list of virtual machines. On the CSDAC, you define attribute filters, mapping the cloud resources to dynamic objects. These objects will be used in your firewall rules on the FMC. So for example, you can set a dynamic attribute filter matching only a specific AWS tag. The resulting dynamic object will contain only the IP addresses of AWS VMs assigned with that particular tag. Once the resources are mapped to the dynamic objects, CSDAC pushes the latest updates to the FMC. And this is an ongoing process. So if there is a change detected on the provider side, the CSDAC will send an incremental update to the FMC. You can subscribe to multiple providers at the same time, as well as have multiple tenants of a single provider configured. The best thing about dynamic objects is that they are pushed in the real time to the firewalls without policy deployment. The Cisco Dynamic Attributes Connector is an add-on to the FMC. It works with any version of the FMC and FTD that supports dynamic object. The CSDAC is really a feature of the FMC, and for that reason, it's fully supported by TAC with your FMC service contract, and you can download it and use it for free. The CSDAC runs on most of the popular Linux servers, and the installation is automated with Ansible Galaxy. On the provider side, you can integrate with AWS, Azure, VMware, and we also provide the Office 365 public feed. We're actively working on adding new connectors, so stay tuned. Before I move to a demonstration of the CSDAC, I wanted to show you a little more detailed flow of the solution. In this example, we have an FMC and a managed firewall protecting a workload. An access control policy allows traffic to the powered on servers in the workload. The dynamic object is used as a destination attribute, and at the moment it contains an IP address of a single server in the workload. On the FTD, 
the dynamic attributes are dynamically installed in the Snort's identity memory. Now, a new VM is spinned up in the workload and the change is detected by the CSDAC. Shortly afterwards, CSDAC triggers an update to the FMC over the REST interface. FMC updates the dynamic object and pushes the new attribute to the managed FTD over the SF tunnel. The new IP address is installed in the Snort's identity memory. As you can see, the Cisco Secure Dynamic Attributes Connector is a great tool to make your policy more dynamic, secure, and much easier to manage. Now I'd like to show you a quick demonstration of the CSDAC. I'll discuss the new Azure Service Tags and Office 365 connectors, as well as some helpful features introduced in the user interface. Here we are at the CSDAC's user interface. The CSDAC interface is logically divided into three main sections. Connectors, where you specify how CSDAC connects to your cloud providers. The Adapters tab, where you add the FMCs that will be receiving the dynamic objects. And finally, the Dynamic Attribute Filters section, where you define how IP addresses are distributed to the dynamic objects that you want to use in your firewall policies. Let's go back to the Connectors tab. Here we can see I already have four providers configured. The table view displays the type and the health of each connector. For example, in line number two, you see I have an Azure connector and the status is OK. If we edit an existing connector, we can review the configuration such as the access credentials or the pool interval. The pool interval determines how frequently the CSDAC will check if there were any changes on the provider side. We can also run a diagnostic test to confirm the connector is properly configured. In my example, I only have a single Azure tenant, but if your organization requires more than one, you can simply add another connector instance with its subscription, tenant and access credential details. The Azure Service Tax connector can be set up with the same set of credentials as your regular Azure connector. You need to specify the subscription ID, tenant, client, and the secret. We can also check if the connection is properly configured. In the recent CSDAC update, we included the Office 365 connector. The Office 365 connector is slightly different from the other connectors, as it subscribes to the public feed and does not require any access credentials. You also have an option to import prefixes specific to one of the national clouds that Microsoft maintains for China, Germany and US government. You can also disable the import of the optional IP addresses. These are IP address blocks marked by Microsoft as not mandatory for core Office 365 support. Similarly, as with any other connector, you can run a quick diagnostic test to confirm CSDAC and reach out to the public feed. Let's have a look at the vCenter connector. In case of a vCenter or an NSX connector, you'd need to specify the pool interval, host and the credentials. If you're using NSX, you'd also have to specify the type. You can add another connector with the plus button on the right-hand side of the interface. The drop-down menu shows the list of the connectors supported by the CSDAC. By clicking a specific type, you'll get the dialog to provide the details of the new connector. If I had an AWS account, I would need to provide the access key, secret key, and specify the region. In the Adapters tab, you can review the configuration of the FMCs that will receive the dynamic objects compiled by the CSDAC. In the FMC adapter configuration, you specify the address of your primary and secondary FMC, as well as the REST API credentials. To make your life easier, you can fetch the certificate directly from the FMC and confirm it's trusted. Here you can also run a quick test to see if the configuration is correct. The Dynamic Attributes Filters tab is where you configure the dynamic objects along with the criteria matching resources received from the providers. 
You can see I already configured four dynamic objects. The string you see in the first column are the actual names of the objects created by the CSDAC on the FMC. The connector column shows you the source provider for each object. And the query displays the conditions I set up previously to match resources. These criteria determine what IP addresses will be added to the individual dynamic objects. If we edit an existing object, we can see the conditions are organized in a very readable way. We can do a preview and observe IP addresses of resources that were matched by our filter. Let's add another object with the plus button on the right hand side. First, we need to specify the name and select a connector. Note that the Office 365 and Azure Service Tax connector are not available in the drop down menu. These two are considered external public feeds and we just import them to the FMC as provided by Microsoft. In this example, I'll set my Azure provider to show you how we can filter based on user defined Azure tags. When I add a new condition and specify the key, the CSDAC provides me with a list of tags available in my Azure tenant. The values you see in this dropdown are the tags that I created and assigned to VMs in my Azure resource group. If I quickly switch over to my Azure account, you'll see the set of tags assigned to one of my Ubuntu servers. The tags are custom name value pairs you can freely assign to your resources. With Azure tags, you can easily categorize your resources and in conjunction with CSDAC, you can build a dynamic firewall policy around it. Let's go back to the CSDAC. I'll select the OS tag. And as you can see, the value is also pre-populated by the CSDAC. I'll select the Ubuntu tag and let me save it. On the preview, we can see two VMs matching our condition with their private and public IP addresses. Let me add another condition to be a bit more specific. This time I'll filter on the environment tag. I'll use contains operator to match on a string rather than full value name. Matching with a string gives you more flexibility as you can create firewall objects following your custom tag naming convention. Now the preview confirms we matched only a single Azure VM. Let me save and switch over to the FMC. In the dynamic object section, we can see that the CSDAC configured over 800 dynamic objects for us. The vast majority are the Azure service tags divided by the service type and the region. For instance, if I filter by German a keyword, we can see a set of dynamic attributes representing a variety of services specific to Germany. Depending on the location of your services in the cloud, you can select the set of regional attributes to be used in your firewall policy. This gives you a tool set to be very specific in your policy and you don't have to worry if Azure changes their IP address scheme. If it happens, the CSDAC will update the relevant objects automatically and push them to the firewalls in real time. For each of the objects, you can see the number of mapped IP addresses. We can also display the list of IPs and subnets within each object. As you can see, we support both IPv4 and IPv6 addresses. The Office 365 connector provided four dynamic objects representing Skype, SharePoint, Exchange, and common prefixes. Same as with Azure service tags, these Office 365 objects are dynamic. Their contents will remain up to date as per Microsoft's public feed. Lastly, let's have a look at the dynamic object we configured in the CSDAC earlier. The dynamic object is here, and I can see the two IP addresses of my Ubuntu VM are properly assigned. Before we come to the end of this presentation, I would like to encourage you to test CSDAC yourself. Cisco Secure Dynamic Attributes Connector makes your policy dynamic, more secure, and much easier to manage. After watching this video, think about how you could optimize your current firewall policies with dynamic objects and CSDAC. Set up your own CSDAC instance to see dynamic objects in your FMC.
Remember, if you have any problems, you have full tax support covered by your FMC's contract. Thanks for watching and see you next time.